Welcome to my YouTube channel where I simplify the web. In this video, the part 7 of my JavaScript array methods explained series, I'll be simplifying the pop array method. What is the pop method? The pop method pops out and returns the last item of an array. I'll be using this numbers array here to explain how the pop method works. So I'm going to declare a variable called popped item and then I'll call the pop method on the numbers array. And if I log the popped item to the console, if I come here and I run this, you can see that the popped item is 5, which is the last item in the array. So the pop method returns this item from the array as well as removing it from this numbers array. So if I come down here and I also console.log numbers, if I come here and I run node test, you can see that number 5 is popped out of the array and also returned. And as well, the numbers array is now modified. So here in the console, you can see you have 1, 2, 3, 4. If I come here again and I say popped item 2 and I call pop again on the numbers array, if I console log popped item 2 and also console.log numbers if i come here and i scroll node test you can see for the first pop it returns the last item of the array which is five and then the array is modified without the last value and when i call pop again popped item two is now four which is the last value from the modified array and then when i console log numbers again you can see now we have just three items the last item has been popped out so because the pop method modifies the array that it is used on i recommend that you clone the original array before using the pop method so here i can clone this using the spread operator now i have a new clone if i come here and i also clone this using the spread operator if i come here and i run node test you can see popped item here is five which is the last item in the array but when i console log numbers the original array is not affected that's because i cloned the array before i used pop also popped item 2 is still 5 because the original array is not affected and because i cloned this again you can see that logging numbers to the console is still the same the opposite of the pop method is the shift method and i explain the shift method in the next video in this series if you enjoyed this video give it a like subscribe for more simplified content and also look forward to more methods i will be explaining in this series